Welcome back to another episode of Intoxicados Podcast. I am your co-host, Don Brandon. Right next to me, we got the one, the only, El Pito Lice. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? Thank you so much for tuning in once again. But we're really, really excited to announce that we have to my left. Hold on, hold on. You might be wondering why I'm sitting in this dark-ass couch. You know, I'm not really in... The same position that I'm always in, but uh, mm-hmm. what, 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 what I'm going to let you know who took my chair today. The one, the only, the one that you guys love the most. Felipe. Oh, Diego. <laughs> What's going on, man? It's, it's man, good. bring some energy game. You're back. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. I'm nervous, man. I'm timid. Hey, I haven't hey, been around so hey, many cameras. I need, I need high energy, bro. Yeah, high man. energy <laughs> yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, going yeah, back yeah. and forth, high energy. <laughs> Y'all came back with that. I came back to y'all being the CEO. Bro, we no, missed we you, bro. We missed you, bro. It, wasn't, it hasn't no, been the same. bro. It hasn't, bro. It ha- me and Brad don't been trying to take your role, bro. And it's just, it doesn't sit right with us, bro. It's we don't have the CEO mentality gang. We don't have the balls or the courage to tell people, hey, back and forth. What happened? Goofy. Nah, what yeah. I, I, I got, <laughs> look, look, look. I, I, was, I was back home. First of all, y'all killed it. Y'all carried the fir- the two episodes without. Well, me. no, real, real. Sh- what do you What did you think about it? <laughs> Actually, when you were on your on the on the plane back to Florida, like, what was your thought? Like, yo, these motherfuckers are gonna just completely ruin the nah, channel. No, 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 no. I I think I was before you I was. I told Brandon that Diego back come back to a banned YouTube channel. <laughs> bro, yeah, we were going pretty crazy on the videos. I'm not gonna lie. No, nah, no, nah, I, I bro, I, I trusted y'all. To, I thought I thought y'all, y'all y'all were funny, and I actually it was so cool to be like behind the screen for once, like behind like not knowing what y'all were doing, yeah, what we what was being filmed. I kind of felt like I was able to like experience how they feel. They're like, damn, I wonder what they're gonna put out. Like, I wonder what they're gonna say. Yeah. That's gonna make me laugh. That's what I was thinking before I would click on the video. I'm like, damn, I wonder, I wonder what they're gonna say to make me laugh. Because mind you, uh, we're in a group chat with our editor, and our editor has sent the first half of the boat video. And I called him like, yo, bro, take, uh, make another uh, group chat with me and Brandon, and just send it to us. Cause we wanted to ruin the whole video. Yeah, we you get me? To surprise Cause you. he already sent you what, like 15 minutes? Yeah. Yeah, and then there was like another 15, and now that yo, bro, don't send the rest of the end. You yeah, know what yeah. I wanted to ask you though? When you saw us like, um, you know, uh, looking for uh, girl supporters that wanted to be on the video, and then we said it was gonna be a boat, uh, boat blog. Yeah. Like, what was the first thing that crossed into your mind? Nah. Well, you guys told me that it was gonna be construction workers that were gonna go on the boat blog. Originally. Yeah. And Originally. that's what I that's what I expected. And then you guys told me that you guys couldn't find one. You couldn't find one worker. Oh, no. I we we really couldn't. I was thinking about just suiting up. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> just suiting up. You should have just called your deal and be like, "Yo, post up, man. We're no, gonna pick you shit, up." No, uh, When we've done construction videos and we done it's hard because it is hard. Like. Right or wrong? Yeah, I guess, but it's doable. No, I, I feel know, like y'all weren't like, trying. No, we did. We actually we Maybe went we to just ho- hugging other. <laughs> 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 we went to two Horn Depots and we couldn't find a single uh, person nah, that wanted sure to work. And yeah. anyone, any, anyone that was there, we were thinking like the CEO. We're like, we were just driving around and they just like, you and know this, what? You know that Diego touched the Diego spice. Up, yeah, and nah, he don't look like he'll be good on camera. Like yeah, like he don't really look like he's a demon. Like that's yeah, what we yeah. were you saying. You gotta scout bro. him, bro. You gotta scout him. We that's did. why when I saw the support, we were running low, gang. Running low Man. on time. I was scouting like I was back in figs, bro. Like I was making sure they had talent, but they were just I, like I gave him the Felipe look though. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but y'all, I mean, y'all killed it. Y'all carried Brian. What's his name? Brian. What was his name? The the, the supporter. The supporter the, Brian. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he he was a little timid. I could tell he was a little shy on camera, but uh, hey, it is what it is. Y'all made it happen. Y'all made it work. I think what it is, low key. I think that video did really good because the thumbnail was the girls. That thumbnail. Yeah, we have some yeah. fucking. <laughs> Bro, yeah, I just got watchers. like 30 DMs, like, hey, where are their ads, man? Where yeah. And I wasn't even, I wasn't trying to tag them. I, that I didn't, did not tag them because I didn't, I didn't have all their ads. So I felt like me nah. only adding certain <laughs> no, ones. He was Felipe was hogging. <laughs> Felipe was gatekeeping. Felipe was gatekeeping. Guilty Bro, <laughs> you know what it is? I was looking through the comments when uh, we posted the pictures. Oh and then they were like, of course, Felipe didn't tag any of the girls. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame him, man. Typical Felipe, him. man. Keeping him for himself. But nah, y'all killed it, but y'all carried it. I think the soccer video was funny as fuck. Yeah. I was actually, I was geeking, like smiling the whole time on the airplane. You guys want to know something crazy I that, uh, that uh, Diego actually reached out to us on the group chat and then he said, yo, on um, the vlog, the soccer vlog was dope. Like, you know, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, what did you say? You were happy? I was just like, oh, shit was funny as fuck. That like, shit was, was funny hella as funny f- moments. But it's funny because it's like, it's like getting that from from the CEO himself. It's like getting that I'm proud of you that I never got from my father. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean, it, it was it like really is. it's like I'm I like like I'm happy like it was it was good. So that made us happy. When he sent that shit, I was drunk. Like I was, I was not f- up, but I was like tipsy. I was like, yo, I seen this. Shit? I, like, <laughs> I thought it was my dad texting me yeah, for a bro, second, bro. I had nah, to like clean nah. my eyes. I was bro, like, yo, it was what funny. The fuck? I was like, 
It was but, just texting us, dude. Because the boat video, was, the the idea was there. It was a good video. I'm not going to lie. Like, the build-up. We build got to run it back, gang. You no, know, we got to run it we back, run it back appropriately. Yeah. Nah, yeah. I'm not what really, what, okay. Only for, because only for, you weren't there. You get me? Yeah. yeah besides, besides you not being there, what else do you think we were missing in that video? Maybe I a think, cameraman. <laughs> yeah, for sure, you guys should have you should have invested into a cameraman because uh, you could tell, like, the boat. The boat vlog alone in the boat, it was, it was cut short because you guys could tell, like, there was just no footage. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, y'all got too drunk. The cameraman, y'all didn't have an actual <laughs> cameraman. He doesn't know what he was I No, mean, he knew what he, he was knew doing. He knew what he was doing, but, yeah, like, he got f- up. I'm going to give it. I'm not bashing on him. I'm not going to say his name because I'm not. He's a really good cameraman. Especially, I've seen his work, but he just got too f- up. And yeah, it's, yeah, cool. Yeah. it's cool. It's cool. It, it happens to the best of us. It happens to the best of us, yeah. But I think the idea was there. It was dope. I think it was a funny ass video. I liked it. I just told you guys, I was like, the boat, like, part could have been longer. Like, I think more. You guys could have showed more. It but was also because, so for example, uh, the vlog was supposed to be about the supporter, mm-hmm. and but the supporter is talking shy. reckless. He was like, "Yeah, man, what?" The and he was shy, bro. And it's okay. It's okay. You know, some people are timid, like myself. I'm timid. I used to be timid on camera too, but uh, you know, how Diego said, "Man, I'm gonna go." Start, man. When this camera start rolling, You're we got go. you action. Yeah. You might not get a lot out of me, but you might get a little, you know, a little thirty seconds that are funny or of something. Course, like that, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? No, and and on some serious, he did say some funny, shit, but the cameras just weren't rolling. That's what happened. Because the cameraman yeah. was blacked out. Hey, look. Speaking of liquid courage, cameras, man. You were at uh, the Fuerza Regida album release party, Felipe. <laughs> I'm on TikTok last night, man. I'm just fresh off the airplane. I'm laying down in my bed. I'm like. But like I finally am in my bed. Like I can, I'm gonna relax. Let's go on a scroll. Man, did you build your bed already, or is it still on the nah, floor? Nah, everything, no, nah, everything's okay. built. Everything's built. I'm just waiting for my not, couch. Not calling you out on that. I was just wondering. Nah, nah, my couch is. Uh, I'm still waiting for. Nah, who, hey, who, living who, spaces, who, man, who, deliver my. Who, shit. who built the bed frame? Both of y'all actually. He built. He built my my bed frame, like for my room, and he built the guest room bed frame. I have. I is, just, is that shit dirty? Like you know, when you're in action, it don't be like. like ego, ego. Man, we're not gonna change the subject on on. So when I was scrolling, oh I was scrolling last night, and um, I'm like seeing like uh, Fuerza Regida all over my for you page, and I'm like, damn, oh, it was the album release party? Okay, cool. You know, Santa Monica, it looks like a vibe. And I'm scrolling, and uh, I just see like this fucking up and down jumping fi- figure going crazy. Like the whole crowd is like still, and you see one up and up and down, up and down. Like it was like the like the black sheep. Like you stood out. Like, it was just a room of white, and there was just one black sheet just, Fuerza Reina. And I was like, yo, is that Felipe gang? Yo, boom. And I'm, I see this, I'm like, yo, Felipe, what happened? You lost, like, you forgot where you were at? What, what was going through your head, man? You were enjoying it, huh? <laughs> that man was hyped. He, he was hyped. He, he was, was hyped. He was living it up. He was happy to be there, bro. Um, I just want to say, guys, um, and I always say this, bro, and I feel like people just don't understand, bro. Uh... When I was working construction, bro, I knew I knew it would pay off eventually. I wasn't trying to be a bum, other you know. I need to make money. You can't, you know. You got to be able to have a, a job to to uh to fund your dreams. You know, your uh, where you want to be at in life. Sorry, I'm stuttering. I'm just trying to say the right words. But anyways, when I used to work construction, every single day I used to wake up to see what chambiando. Why would I wake up to see what chambiando? Because I had a beat up ass phone, and it was either buy a new phone so my alarm could actually ring. Or go to Big Lots and buy an alarm clock. I went to Big Lots, got a $15, $20 alarm clock. Boom, you could install what song you want to wake up to. And it was always Sigo Chambiando by Fuerza Regida. I I used to listen to Fuerza Regida before they became this crazy sensation that they are, you get me? And I'm like, bro, it's so crazy to me that I personally got invited to the Fuerza Regida uh, album release party. And I'm I'm a little tipsy, I'm not going to lie. I got a couple of drinks in me. I was taking shots with Moises. I was taking shots with everybody, but I was taking shots with my boy Fabio, my boy Blessed. I was like, you know, I was trying to get lit. And then, bro, everybody dead there, bro. Everybody's quiet. Mind you, how I said, and this this was always coming back in my head. They said, hey, man, we're going to be filming this whole thing. So, you know me, man, cameras are rolling. I got to perform. And I was actually having a good time, bro. And everybody, I feel like everybody in there was too, like, Trying to play it cool. To play, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. You're too cool for that. I'm like, man, bro, this album release party is supposed to get lit, bro. And I just, I just enjoyed the day. I mean, yeah. I was just being myself. Yeah. I was like, man, sh- lit, bro. And yeah. I'm like, bro, like, I'm telling you, and it sounds so corny, it sounds so cliche, bro. That motherfucker, Forza Regida, that motherfucker JLP got me through a lot of tough times in construction game. Like, there'd be times where I'm like, bro, I just want to give up, bro. Like, I'm done. But you know, I can, I would always but play I can see go chambiando los billetes. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, no, that's dope. And I, I'm I, rocking the scene. <laughs> Let me alone. 
Nah, but I bring it up, bro, because uh, I think that's why people f- with you the most uh, in, like, the influencer space, I guess, people, I don't know, whatever you call this, because, like, you're just, like, you you, sh- you show your true, like, you're not bro, trying to hold back, I'm trying to play it cool. Mother- Bro. Yeah, like you play it like I as, told you in the car. When's the last? When, f- they never invite me. Yeah, I was over there too cool to be jumping and something just like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, <laughs> bro, I, I was like, f- it, bro, I'm gonna enjoy the night. That's I was, real. I was enjoy telling, the day. I, I was telling you guys in the car too when we did that boat vlog. There was uh, one of our supporters. Her name is Brenda. She was she pulled us to the side and she was talking to us. What? Well, who was amazing. it? Brenda. 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 Well, her name is Brenda. What was she wearing? Huh? What was she wearing? <laughs> hey, don't worry about it, gang. Uh-huh. No, but um, she actually, she actually, she's engaged, so we gotta. Back the fuck up on what that. What does that mean? You know what it means. <laughs> That's not confirmed yet. They haven't walked down the aisle. <laughs> true, true, true. No, nah, but Brenda was being. She was being super dope. She was. Uh, she pulled us to the side and she said that she's. Um, she like li- watches our videos. She fucks us because you know, like you know, you're so genuine. We're so genuine. And, like we really just go out there and try to have the like. We're not trying to fake anything, bro. Like mm-hmm. we're just trying to be ourselves and we actually enjoy being there. All the every every time like when I get invited to the events, you guys invite me to. Whenever we go to even small little things, bro, like it's just so it, it's dope just being there and we're able to enjoy the moment. Yeah. And like you say, like you're not being too cool for it. You're just actually happy and genuine to be there. Yeah. It's a dope nah, thing. That's uh, I'm happy for you, Leaves. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. No, you were, you, you were I, I was actually though. so glad when I when I found out you went. I was like, nah, I know the Felipe hyped to be. How did you know he was there though? Man, it's just social media. It's is just, that what it was? I get tagged around. Cause you, cause I know you replied. Uh, you send the on the on the group chat. You're like, is Felipe? The yeah, first but time you cut this. Sh- I hadn't even picked up. Yeah, yeah. You cut this. Shit, like, you're like, that mother like, just spawned in. Yeah, CEO just always watching, man. Yeah, like, I keep tagging. Like, I'm like, sure. I'm like, oh, that's where they're at. <laughs> 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 All right, that's what they're that's what they're doing on company time. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I'm I thought he said he was with his mom. He texted the group just saying he was with his mom. <laughs> nah, I'm glad you went, bro. I was uh, really, really happy. I'm, I'm glad to be back, too, bro. I miss y'all. I'm glad you're oh, here. Are you? I need bro. the energy. I need that high I'm energy. I'm here, gang. I'm He's here. here, man. You didn't see him. He's here. I'm, I just I'm shut the, the fuck up. I'm bugging him. I'm, I I'm just in shut the, the fuck up on that one. So now that you're back, bro, how do you feel? How's everything? How's everything back at home? Uh, man. I mean, I don't want to, like, turn this sh- sh- into, like, a pity, like, trying to get. Yeah, turn that into some nah, 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 cause like we already, I feel like I was already, I pretty much already spoke my situation in the previous videos. So the, the pod before I left in the video of the boat. Speak that shit. But I mean, man. um, nah, I think I was telling you yesterday when you picked me up from the airport. Which, by the way, if you have friends, especially in LA, bro, if you have friends that pick you up at the LAX airport, especially from any time from like three to seven, that's a real friend. Cause if you know LA airport, bro, that is the worst. Shit do to get picked up at the lax airport so y'all are real ones because every time there's only been like one time out of like the 15 times that i land back in lax since i moved here that they said that i can't <laughs> do it because they're actually busy but besides that it's either brandon or felipe that always pick me up at the LAX. you know airport. it took me like 20 minutes just to make a ride into no the bro lax airport it, is the worst terrible bro. So, I, didn't, I didn't know it was that bad bro, yeah. you know i was zooming when they went to pick up oh yeah 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 bro diego diego asked me yo of course bro like I'm not gonna let his girlfriend take an Uber at fucking three in the morning. Oh yeah. Yo, bro, my girl lands uh at LAX and so set time at like one thirty. And I was like, Yeah, yeah, bro, I got it, I got it. And then I got a message from her, like, oh I'm not gonna land till two and I wake up at two fifteen <laughs> uh, to a ring, like, Oh, I just got out the airport and I'm like <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Is there people there? She's like, Yeah, yeah, I'm like, Okay, just chill with the people that'll be there right now. <laughs> bro, I'm zooming, bro, I'm hauling ass to LAX. That was the fastest I've ever picked anybody up, bro. Like, yeah. and it was dead, you know, like yeah, two yeah, in the morning. Yeah. Bro, I was like, I didn't even know we could go this fast, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Nah, yeah, yeah, that was real. Thank you for picking it no, up. No, of course. That's not why I'm bringing it up. I'm just bringing it up because I was so glad it was that late. Yeah, that yeah, night. yeah. There's no traffic at that time. No cap. If, yeah. would, if it would have been like six, seven, I would have been so mad. Yeah, it should have been like oh, an hour and a half, two hours to get there. Yeah. 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 But, anyways, um, anyways, I got back from LAX airport and I was telling you, like, uh, unfortunately, man, I wish I really wish I can come back on here and give you guys good news that my dad's doing better. Um, but unfortunately, I feel like it's it's just only like his health is only declining as the days go by. Cancer is a bitch. That shit's fucking kicking his ass really bad. Um, but while I was out there, you know, I did I was able to spend I was nearly out there for like two weeks and I was able to spend time with him and talk to him. A lot of people, which, by the way, I haven't posted on my Instagram or really anywhere. But a lot of you guys reached out. I saw the comments. The DMs y'all were sending me, man. Shout out to you guys. I read almost every single one of them. I didn't respond, obviously. I, I didn't even respond to, like, a lot of people that were texting me of my close friends. Just because I didn't want to respond. Me. I didn't really want to be on my phone like that. Bro I'm said s- including me. I'm sorry, bro. I had to throw that one out there. Yeah, no, nah, I wasn't. Bro, I really wasn't responding. I wasn't. I just wasn't in the mood to really, like, talk to people. But uh, not in a bad way. I just, that was just what I was 
dealing well, with. You but, uh, explain yourself, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah. What was I saying, bro? No, you were saying that um, you wish that you would have came back with good news. Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But cancer's uh, cancer's a bitch. But uh, uh, yeah, he's not doing well. Um, unfortunately, I had to come back. I I wish I could stay there forever. But I got things that I got to do here as well. And um, besides, why did, did you come back? I was really thinking that. No, I did have. I mean, I have besides the YouTube. I have some other like, <coughs> brands that I have to some yeah. brand deals that I have Been to doing do over there. Mm, no. Not really. I mean, then on top of that, b- b- besides everything oh, else, wait, guys, I mean, I'm sorry. I, not that I don't want Diego back. I just would have preferred him stay over there. You get me? Yeah, but yeah. in but a good way. In a good yeah. way. Yeah, but besides besides the brand deals and everything, I, I feel like you made LA into your your home. No, as well, it is my right? home, and that's the thing. Is like I also pay. I mean, I'm not saying, but like I pay rent here now. Like I have a house. I, think I was gonna say I also pay you guys. No, no, no. I pay rent. <laughs> I, was like, my, I have my girlfriend here. I'm not gonna leave her by herself for like fucking two months. Or I mean, obviously my family comes first, but. Um, that's why I took that trip. I went for two weeks, and I have to, like I said, I have things that I have to do out here as well. Yeah. And we have, yo, we haven't even announced what, what we, what we, what are we doing? What, what we got what into? Told us. Was I left, got left out? What? <laughs> bro, we were in Vegas. Oh my God. Are we going to announce that now? <laughs> bro, I, I've been, bro, I've been yeah. holding that shit in so fucking deep. Bro, <laughs> bro yeah, I've been we haven't holding that shit it. in. Like, that's There's another thing here? is, like, I know, like, they were waiting for us to, or they were waiting for me oh to come back God. to, like, make everything official, sign, and all and that And we could have flown out to no, you. yeah. Yeah, we really could have. Yeah. We were, think, we were actually thinking were we of flying. Thinking about it? Yeah, yeah we're, we're thinking about it. Yeah. And, and not on like on some like, oh, we're gonna vlog. Like, oh, Diego, you know, we're gonna. Yeah, you were gonna surprise. Like, we're no, gonna we surprise were just gonna you. be there, bro. We, yeah. yeah, we. I'm about to pull up to Lake Nona, man. Man, <laughs> man, let's see who who tests my gangster. I get smoked. <laughs> <laughs> well, before we announce those news, just to like wrap up that conversation with my pops, um, yeah, just that's that's what's going on back home. Uh, it was mentally challenging, bro. I'm not gonna lie. It was mentally really draining seeing him like that. Uh, but I told you, that's what I was telling you on the way back from LAX airport is that like all that that's happening. I feel like I have to go through, I, I wish I didn't, but I have to go through it to, um, like prepare me for like, like this, shit, this life, bro. Or like, like next chapters in the your next life. chapter. Like this is unfortunately like, this is what it is. You know, what's this crazy what that I, I was just having that conversation with you, uh, yesterday where, um, my ex's grandmother unfortunately passed away from cancer. Right. And she fought cancer for five years. So she w- she's a warrior. She's like, you know, and um, I remember one time I was I was talking to my ex and I was talking to her sister. <laughs> her sister was there. And then I told her I was I told my my ex, I was like, no, I understand what you're going through because my dad passed away. Right. And then her, I mean, you know, there was always a little bit of animosity between my ex's sister and myself. And uh, her sister was basically <laughs> like, like, yeah, you understand to a certain extent your dad passed away unexpectedly. For us, we're watching our grandmother like deteriorate day by day and just like, you know, the cancer's eating her alive, mm-hmm. which is different too because I didn't put that into perspective until like I had that conversation with them mm-hmm. that you're just watching them go like day by day. And it's a painful thing, bro. Yeah, it's bro. It's super, literally, super it's painful really thing. It's really draining, bro. And like we completely understand and we were, we, we've been talking about it, bro. And we always told you like whatever time you need for you to be gone with with, with your family, like take as much time as you, as you need. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Like we love having you here, bro. Like yeah, it's, bro. it's 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 different. It's like the vibes saying. are different, bro. Like we always bounce on each other, or like bounce back on each other type thing. You know, you guys know what I mean. Bounce ideas <laughs> off each other. Yeah. Bounce nah, like nah, this nah. way. Yeah. Nah, bro. Y'all were killing. Y'all were killing it. But yeah, mentally, it's a uh, it is draining seeing um, a close family member like especially like your dad, uh, day by day seeing him like that getting worse. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just like I said, man. You just uh, unfortunately gotta. You got to deal with it. You got to keep it going. Got to because you got to mentally already prepare for the next stage. OK, well, what's going to happen next? Because I'm not going to lie. Like on the way there, bro, I have something in my eye. Itch. On the way there, I was crying like a bro. You guys saw me. I was crying. I mean, I don't know. I didn't cry in front of you. I didn't cry. But I mean, I don't think it's crying. Like, think, a, bro, yeah, bro. like, yeah, I but like, I was crying like, like, man, like man can cry, bro. Good. But yeah, 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 I was crying. But I, what I'm trying to say is on the way there, because I hadn't seen him, you know, I was like, damn, like, you know, because I didn't know the condition he was in and all this. Anyways, I was crying a lot, a lot, a lot. And then once I got there, like, I maybe cried, like, for the first two days. And then after that, I kind of started, like, having to mentally, like, sh- thickening, like, strengthening my, my mind to, like, pre- obviously, I hate to say it, but prepare for the worst. Because then I'd rather be prepared and know what the next steps are as far as, as, far as like, okay, what am I going to do help to help my mom? Like, what am I going to do to help my, with this and that? So, uh, and then I have to also, my mom's crying, and I don't want to make it worse, and I have to, like, dug it out and i was like you know trying to not cry in front of my mom 
Like, I cried, like, once, but then after that, I was like, nah, man. Like, my mom's weak, plus me being weak, that shit is just not going to be a good combination. Like, I got to be the strong one here. And I was just praying. I was just like, man, just, you know, God, give me strength. Give me, like, just give me some strength to, like, be here and be here for my mom. And, and yeah, and I told you guys the story um, that I prayed. And, bro, that brought me a lot of peace, man. That brought me a lot of peace. when I, I, I I have a little story before we continue on to the whatever topic we were talking about. But I was, before I left, the day before I left to Orlando, I, yeah, it was the day before. Um, I have, like, a patio in my backyard, but there's no, like, grass yet. There's It's just rocks and dirt, right? And I was like, you know what? I was like, really? This was, like, my mom just telling me how sick he was. And I d- think I just got done hanging out with y'all or something. I don't know what it was. Yeah, but oh, yes, I remember. Yeah, yeah. that was right before. <laughs> I think the last time we did the podcast, right, it before you we were heading party, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then I, w- I just went home. My girlfriend was sleeping because she just got off from night shift. Mm-hmm. I was crying. And I was like all this. And then I, I had asked him. I was at one point that I had. I don't like to question it. But, you know, when you're like so down bad at some point, you start questioning, bro. You're like, yeah, you do. Like, yo, are you like, you know, I'd hate to say it. But you start asking like, yo, is, is this even real? Like, like, are you listening? Are you listening? Yeah, bro. that's the thing. And so and so I, I, I'm praying this. And I literally said I was like. Yo, if you're listening to me, like, just give me some type of sign that you're listening. Like, just give me something that I know you're, like, I'm not talking to nothing, right? And, bro, I kid you not, I opened my eyes and I looked to my right. When How many times do you guys see butterflies, bro? Not, not that right. often. Especially if it's just dirt and rock. Bro, I never see, like, I can't <laughs> remember the last time I saw a butterfly, let alone the butterfly that swung by me or, like, flew by me. Was a white butterfly. But Anyways, was, man. It was a white butterfly. It was a white saw. butterfly. And at that, and then I was like, you know what? For some reason, in that very moment, I just felt at peace. And then I, uh, I was. You felt like you were heard, right? Like, yeah, so, like, like I was like, li- damn. I was like, listening yeah, to you. Yeah, like, no way. Like, that's. And then I looked it up, and I'm not mistaken. Oh, where's my phone? <coughs> oh, there's actually a meaning behind Yeah, there's that. a meaning, bro. And there's actually, like, a a, um, a biblical meaning, if I'm not mistaken. Really? About about the butterfly? Yeah. White that's butterfly. crazy. Let me see. I'm going to read the Bible meaning to I you. I just don't remember the last time I seen a butterfly, bro. All right, sorry. So then uh, this is what the white butterfly means. Is, Let uh, me see. This is the bi- it means, biblical. I don't know. If, I can't. I don't know if this is, like, like, the biblical one, but it's just, like, this is the one I read after because I was like, damn, I want to see what Yeah, what, what, yeah. what it meant. Yeah. White always means pretty good, no? Like, I'm thinking, I like, think spiritual-wise. So. Anyways, it means purity and innocence and this is um it says some believe that the appearance of a white butterfly to be a sign from deceased loved ones right no way yeah that's what it, that's what they say i don't know mm-hmm. it's google google don't yeah, lie yeah. Google don't. <laughs> yeah so then i was like you know what i don't know man maybe it's just a message from somebody just telling me to you know ch- calm down everything's but, gonna be okay but you did feel at peace i did you feel at good. peace you yeah like after that yeah. like i like for like for that like five second span i just <laughs> felt at peace and then i went back home and while i was there i like I just kind of remembered that, and I was like, uh, like before I left, this was like right before I left, like three days before I left Florida, and I was like, you know what, like I feel, I don't know, man, I feel like after I that prayer and that butterfly, I felt like just some type of like peace, relief, relief. like relief, yeah. like I feel like everything's gonna be okay. Maybe it's not in this world, but in another world, I think everything's gonna be okay. And yeah, man, just mentally preparing and just that's where I'm at right now. But I'm here, I'm back. I will say, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I don't want to say this. That's what I'm talking about. I'm oh. just saying that if I have to leave again oh. for an unexpected reason, oh. then, you know. Um, mm-hmm. But so right now, I'm, I'm, I'm here to stay for a while because I got that I have to do, unfortunately, here. and uh, It's one of those things that you're, you're praying for the best but expecting the worst. You know what I mean? And it's like... It's just mentally preparing, It's just mentally yeah, preparing just yourself. Because preparing. I'd rather be prepared and to have a some type of plan than just hit me out of, <clears throat> out of nothing. Of course. Like, fuck, what now? And you know what? That's one of the things that I feel like uh, uh, like a lot of people do. It's like they try to brush it off. They're like, no, mm-hmm. no, I'm just brush it off, brush nah, it off, yeah, brush it off. You have to, it's and reality, And when it bro. finally hap- like when things, not, and I'm just saying, not, ta- not talking about death, I'm just saying like negative things in general, people always leave them behind until like <coughs> it actually happens and when it happens, it gets everyone off guard and you know, everything just, yeah. you know what I mean? No, yeah, it's, but it's reality, man. That's one thing is certain, is death. We all have to face that at some point. So uh, I'm just a realistic. Well, I like to be real with myself. And you keep it real, man. I told the do- I remember I went to uh, the hospital. I told the doctor straight up because you know doctors try to like be nice and try to tell you things that you want to hear, but they don't tell you the things you don't want to hear. So like we were in the office with them talking, and after everything, <coughs> um, they left. I told my mom and my dad to go. I'm gonna stay back. I want to ask some things. Yeah. And I literally told the nurse. I was like, man, just. Man, keep it a honey. I literally said, like, yo, keep it real. Just tell me, like, don't sugarcoat anything. Like, I am I like to just be known. Like, just tell me straight up how it is. And, yeah, she just kept it real. Conversation was there, and <coughs> that's it. Wow. So, 
Yeah. Anybody out there, man, just be real. If you're a nurse watching this and people are coming up to you, just don't beat around the bush, bro. Just sometimes the, the truth hurts. Huh? When she tells you, yeah, man, truth hurts. The truth hurts. When she, it's, when she, it's the truth. When she tells you, you, just, you didn't pleasure me. Hey, man, at least you got your truth. It hurts, but you ain't, you ain't, you ain't hit right. I, I mean, a motherfucker like me would have been like, well, I still got my nut. I would have said, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think any of this like is the same. <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere near the same resemblance. Nah, man. But, okay. but it's getting too deep, man. But it's it is. It deep. was getting a little too deep. And I, I just do want to apologize in case people are actually. Nah, you're good, bro. I know. I left my keys with Felipe. <coughs> um, my house keys and my car keys. Be honest, you took my car. I swear, didn't take your car. Once. I, want, I have a car. <laughs> what yeah, are you talking about, bro? We have a crazy as announcement. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a super crazy, Damn. stupid announcement. Breaking news. Who wants to do you want to no, do it all the time? No, you do the yeah, honor, bro. You know, You're nah, the let's one. all do it. Another, no, you know? we were in Vegas. We were in Vegas, and the CEO called us. He said, yo, what are y'all doing? I'm like, I'm right here with Pito and laying in bed. He's like, all right. He's we like, I got to sit in the lobby. Huh? We were talking <laughs> oh? in the lobby. We better go oh, is that what? Yeah, yeah, that's what we were doing. And then he's like, I got crazy the news Island. for y'all. So tell her what it is. Ah, it's only right that we all say it. At, so what agree. do we got? So okay, how do but we say it though? It's uh. So we say we are in, and then the thing. We we are in. And should we do that, or should we do it like we got, we gotta accept it? No, we're not gonna accept it. Before you acting like we gotta accept it to a university. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I know y'all are crazy, gang. Okay? Oh, no, it's a crazy right. thing. No, I know. Uh, we, yeah, I mean, we got in. We got in. <laughs> First of all, big shout out. Well, we'll 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 give the shout out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I mean, on three we could just say it. Make sure all the cameras are rolling. All three, right, two. Wait, we got in two. No, we just say however it comes out. All right. Fuck it. Three, two, one. We're we got accepted into zoomies. Into zoomies. So yeah, man. I think that was the one. That wasn't the one. <laughs> that wasn't the one. Nah, nah, nah. Let's just do it. We got into zoomies. We got. Okay, ready? Ready? One, two, three. We, we got, got into zoomies. zoomies. Man, we the Chico Stoxicos are in Zoomies, guys. We're we're not we're not 100. Like you can't go right now and go get the, the shirts yeah, and stuff. But right it now. is in the talks, you know. No, it wasn't. No, the it, no was it was in the talks. It, was in the talks. it got, it got confirmed, and we might be put into a couple of Zoomies. We don't know which ones yet. Yeah. We don't know how we many stores. Got, yeah, we haven't we haven't gone into the full details yet. Just basically, if I'm not mistaken, shout out Chucho, shout, shout out Ali. Ali, my God, bro, those. Guys are clutch. They're they're them. Yeah. You feel me? They're him. Him, me, John. Yeah. So, um, Diego was telling us that six brands got um they got accepted into Sumis, and we were so lucky enough to be one of the brands. And this is honestly super f-ing amazing. Maybe to a lot of people they're like, oh, bro, it's just Zoomies, right? But to us, it's something f-ing crazy. Like I grew up going to Zoomies. The boys grew up going to Zoomies. I remember when Grizzly Hub, Diamond Primitive was a thing. We used to go there all the time. I don't know if you guys were like me, but I was a I was a window shopper. I just like being there and looking at the thing, looking at the prices. I'm like, how many cans do I got to sell to be able to buy one of the shirts, no one of these? Yeah. Right. And, and, huh? No cans. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, how many cans do I got to sell? There's just an is. <laughs> I remember my grandpa, my grandpa was a handyman. So my grandpa would come back whenever he would do electrical work. And then he, had, he, would, he would have like a bunch of cables. And we would like, had to literally like peel the whole peel cables the and sell the copper, right? Mm. And I remember one time, bro, I hit the hit, the, the biggest lick, bro. I think I got like 250 bucks, bro. So most I've ever gotten like, I don't know what, bro, from selling the copper. And uh, anyways, I went, I went to the store and everything, but it was funny because I was like, I would see like the new primitive that they just dropped because there was always new, like new collections and new everything. And they were sick, bro. But um, I was like, nah, like if I buy a shirt for like 30, 35, almost 40 bucks, I can go to the clearance section because like, they always have like a clearance aisle, like right in the front. It's like a big fucking round thing and you just start picking, you go by sizes. I'm like, I can get like a $45 shirt or I can get like buy two, get one free mm-hmm. or like buy one, get one uh, half like off. Right. So I remember I would always come up like, but I was, o- I would always come up on like the last season and I always wanted the new season. But more of the story is like, it's really a dream come true being able to have our brand, something that was a vision that started off with Felipe bringing up the name, bro. Chico Stokes, he goes, how does that sound? And then from Diego, Felipe, and I cooking up some ideas for the shirts. And obviously from Ali and Chucho, shout out to the guys. Huge that, shout out to Huge Ali shout out that they, really, that they really, really helped us out. And boom, now we're able to bring that, that thought into reality. And then not just a reality, but now have it at, a, at one of the stores that we grew up going to. A store where like we wish that we were able to buy like all these different types of things. And um, nah, I've been saying I want to do a video there, bro. I yeah, wanna, I want to take someone shopping. And because I remember, so my fault, Felipe Diddy. Nah, bro. <laughs> I want I want to take a supporter. 
I remember it was a, t- a phase when I wanted to be like a little skater because yeah. everybody was skating. You get me? And I, did, I wasn't even trying to be like like for real skater. I just wanted to skate. Did you have a penny board? I had a penny. Yeah, no, nice. I'm lying. Gang. Did I had, you have a penny I board? had a fast spot the board. They had those. So they had penny boards at fast spot Oh, I didn't I know remember that. That they were so slow that you had to put WD-40 on it so the, the barrels would start spinning oh, fast. Yeah, that's nuts. That's nuts. <laughs> so I had a fast but I this board. And then I remember my friends, we found a penny board, but like the big one, the nickel board. The nickel board, yeah. yeah. But I remember anytime I went to Zoomies, I went to go window shop. And I'd always end my session by uh, going to the back and looking at the boards. And be like, man, if I had the money, I'd get that yeah. with with the girl tape on it. I'd probably get the girl board with the with the bitch right there, just <laughs> get out type shit. And I'd get uh thunder barrels, and then I'd get the the spit fire wheel. I was like, bro, I want like I wanted yeah. it, bro. And then anytime I'd go back to shop because like Zoomies was like where everybody kind of shop. Like it wasn't like you had style, but like you weren't gonna get cooked for wearing Zoomies. Clothes, no, you get me? Not at all. like it was cool. It was dope. But like there was like the high school I went to. Most when designers, shit. so I was just like it was H&M or Zoomies, right? I'm gonna keep it 100, man. I think this, <coughs> this, I think if I think this is some shit you will see a lot of high schoolers wear, bro. Yeah, no, 100, right? Bro, sure, 100 be dope as fuck. But but um, I remember the clearance store, bro. The clearance section, section yeah. Well, I remember uh, all the good shit were either medium or small, mm. and I was a large at the time. <clears throat> and I was like, I just bought yeah. a bunch of medium shirts, guys. And there's a lot of tips and tricks. Yeah, you stressed and then, though. And I look a little, a little arrugado, but fuck it, man. It still look hard. You, I could easily stretch it like that, right? You know, like, no, I've been strong my whole life. But uh, nah, just kidding. I got my mom's canasto, you know, where you put the dirty clothes in. And you know how it's round like this? Oh you my God, You put it God, in, bro. and you leave it Shit. overnight, bro, and it stretches out, and it looks normal. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't even know about yeah, that. Yeah, bro. How the fuck did you think of that? I don't know. I was just, I was just like, because, bro, I was like, like oh, it's too tight, bro. <laughs> and, then, and then when you go like, th- when you go like this with your hands, like you could tell that you're like opening yeah, it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, and I remember I put in the canasto and you put it all the way down. So like it literally, I don't know if I even have a photo. I'm gonna take a photo and I'm gonna send it to mm. how you guys do it. You know what's uh, bro? And I and literally I would like I would always like know what I'm gonna wear the next day. So I'd put the shirt there, and the next day I I just pull it out and it was like it looked normal, gang. It looked it looked like a and large. It fit. And it fit, you know, it fit even oversized a little bit, like a little oversized kind of look. And it was, it was always tight from the arms because obviously the arms don't stretch out. Yeah. Like, so it looked nice on me. That's okay. A lot of tips and tricks for anybody out there struggling. You know, get the shirt you want. Like, if, it, if you're large and, you know, you, the medium fucking looking is fucking crazy, get a canasto and just put it right there. Or... Or lose weight. Lose some weight. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> That's what you could do. I was I was always like stocky though. Like oh, I wasn't yeah, even you're fat. Big body. I wasn't you're even big fat body, man. Nah. You're a big body, man. Nah, big I'm body bends. Nah, but I'm excited, man. Zoomies, that's that's dope. Like you guys said, you guys you guys said everything I needed to say. Zoomies nah, is just sick. sick, bro. Uh bro, I just like again, I, I think back to us sitting down at that table, taking money out of our piggy banks to go all in. Our on, last our yeah, last our dollars. last dollars type our shit. Last <laughs> dollars going in to doing to that shit and it was one of, it was one of those things where like like you know if you don't mind if you don't mind me bringing it up right like remember like you know we i mean we're you know we're still we, we're still como si, we're still on a budget and everything but 100%. i remember when we were when, but we were when we were sitting down when we were all taking out the money right like what was going through your head when whenever when we were like we all got to put the money out and actually make this into you guys want to know something i haven't told y'all this what's that <laughs> There's two times. That that's the second time that I went all in when I had like nothing in my bank account. You wonder the first time. And you mm. know what's crazy, gang? You were in that meeting talking like, yeah, let's get this shit going. No, it be, be we got hyped because of him, you. Bro, it's always the we got hyped right. because of you because I, I no, would have never mm. imagined open up an LLC, even trying to do that business venture. Like, yeah, always, like, it was so foreign to me. I always thought like it's that scary, but why would you even risk that? Yeah, yeah. Why would you risk set amount of money for a, a maybe? Yeah, I always thought that way. That's not my whole life. But I always knew I could. I always knew I wanted to do something in business. But anytime it came up, I'd be like, "Ah, that's too scary, gang. Fuck yeah. all that. Cause I'd just rather play it safe." I yeah. was saying because the one that looked a little not not worried, but the one that was like a little like teeter tottered about it was like was Felipe yeah, because of I course, saw him. Of course, yeah. I and and I didn't I didn't know that. I, I didn't know you were down to your last. Bro, nah. Let me tell you. This is this is what's all right. So I haven't told y'all this at all, bro. I haven't told anybody this. Um. Uh, when me and Felipe, because you know, like the first two videos, you weren't a part of it officially yeah. yet. It was me and Felipe that started it in November, right? And <clears throat> there was a, it was the video, the very first video, the very first, um, the zoo culture prank that we did on Nick Narasena. 
so that video we filmed it and then we didn't ha we we didn't edit it i, I couldn't edit like I, I could have edited but i think it was just like bro it was already tuesday or wednesday and like the video had to be up the next day so we had our boy edit for us right yeah and this was in november this was literally our first video and uh he he charged us if i'm not mistaken it was like 400 that's what it was 400 dollars, right so me and felipe went half and half correct me if i'm wrong was it 400 or 300 was it? It was like four. Is it? Is it who? Yeah, yeah. First, our first editor. Uh, first. It was like it was, four. It was two fifty, or three hundred. It was like three. Three hundred for sure. Then it, it, we each went one fifty. <laughs> Regardless, it was like three or four hundred, and, and I, I kid you not, gang. In my Chase account at that time, I had like maybe I had like three hundred, four hundred dollars to my name. Damn. And I went, and I, that's why at that moment I think, bro, I screen recorded, and I was trying to find a screen <laughs> recording, but I screen recorded me selling the editor the 150 or 200 whatever it was and i remember i saw i literally had like 150 bucks left in my in my name because i had just i ran I, I had paid off like all my credit cards and all that bull and bro i was down to like that right so then boom that's when i officially in that moment that's was like i told felipe i was like bro we're gonna do this like i'm going all in like every week we gotta stay consistent because like he, he didn't know at the time he didn't nobody knew that that was it like that's yeah. all i had so i was mm -hmm. like again like i'm going all in fast forward to the fucking, the hats when we when we were sitting down talking to the guys bro i didn't have two thousand dollars in my name i put that I, remember why i put all that shit on my credit card and i was like yeah. yo let's use my credit card yeah, i'll, I'll put it all that. on my credit card because yeah, okay, you, you were telling us it's because of the points yeah i was like because of the points yeah and i, I bro, I didn't, have fucking, I didn't have money bro i had like i didn't have enough money gang. that's nuts and i fucking put all that on my credit card all that that whole Man, transaction the credit card that's the thing is I put it all on my credit card and I was like, you know, I think this is going to pay off, bro. Let's just take the risk. If anybody's watching this, the point of this story is that if you believe in something, bro, and you're going to dedicate your life to it, take the risk, bro. Like if you truly believe like you're like, I don't see how I can fail. If I give him all, if I give him my all, <coughs> my 110% to this that I really want to do. And if I see him or she, whatever's doing it, why can't I do it? Like that's got to be your mentality, bro. Just take the risk, bro. I, moved to LA and three years ago bro like I was just working at the airport making barely enough to pay the rent here and I figured I was like if I want to do this I'm gonna figure it out I'm gonna figure out some way to make this happen and you I always told myself I'm never going back to Florida when I when I moved here I, I made myself a promise I said I'm gonna do everything in my power to not be like everybody else that moves to LA and then it doesn't work out in a year and they go back to their hometown and you know I was like I'm, I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna do everything I can to yeah. I'm gonna be honest. I always looked up to you for like taking that that huge ass leap and then coming to a different state. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, like all the shit that you've done in the past, like, like I mean, I'm sure you said it before. If not, you can cut it. But like, you went from like even being to the point that you were sleeping in your car. No, I was. You were sleeping in your car, bro. You have the a lot video. Of people you don't know me. that, man. There's you a lot of shit I don't talk you about. Sh you showed me in the video, you know bro, that you were sleeping I know in your about car. Diego? What do you know about me? Yeah. I had to leave this in and take it out. We're depending on Diego, I'm up. This feet big. <laughs> Yeah, bro. I I did. I did at one point. And I point. was so jealous. I was like, yo, he wants mine. I did at one point. But <laughs> but when I was selling the I I did sell feet pics. No, but it was it was on some like like he was paying good and all you had to do was doop, doop. Yeah, I just I was like bro, at first I didn't want to do it because I was like <clears throat> I was like, bro, I'm not sending no feet pictures to nobody. And I, but then I thought about it, I was like, bro, it's literally feet. Like what? Like yeah, who bro. cares? Like yeah. what are they gonna expose me for? Yeah, feet? Yeah, I was yeah. like, fuck it. But no, nah. and I remember this one, like, I mean, I don't know how you were financially. Maybe you're just doing extra bread. You know, who doesn't want extra bread? Yeah, yeah. But I was down, gang. I was down. And I was like, Yo, you just selling that shit for that much? And like, oh, yeah, yeah. Motherfucker, motherfucker wants them. Oh, he actually wants my boys, too. He's been, he been hitting me up about my boys. <laughs> and like, what about me, gang? You don't you know, you know, you you want to see me win? You don't want to see my, my feet. My feet are nice. <laughs> <clears throat> but that's why I relate to y'all. Like I said, I don't, I don't ever share my financial shit to anybody. But I was down, bro. I was down bad at that meeting. I didn't. And have no bread to put bro. the hats. That's so crazy. To fast forward to now, what it, that was in February, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was February. February to what? Four months, five months later. It was like January because it took January. a little bit to make. But uh, yeah, how Diego said, if you believe in yourself, go for it. And then another thing I want to throw in there, and uh, I know not everybody's blessed enough with a great friend that thinks alike, or want the same for you, or even the best for you. Get me? Cause that's Diego. That's that's the friend we have. Literally, like. I, I, I'm telling you, bro, like, this has all been brand new. I don't know none of this shit the business side. But I always wanted to do it, and I was always so fucking scared. This motherfucker talking like he'd been, he'd been through this shit. 
before that. Yeah, yeah man. Well, we're going to need that shit here. Let's just get production going already. I'm like, damn, bro. Like, we're really doing this, huh? Yeah, remember, it's 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 one of those things where they they call us in the moment. Yeah. Cause I went in, I was I went in for I the went designs. In for info. Yeah, from the designs and everything. Now we're gonna get this done. But it's crazy because you said it yourself. Um, like you were saying it when when with your whole mom situation, when like you know you, your dad is going through it, your mom's going through it, and then now you have to put your foot uh, your foot down and you have to show like you know we gotta do this. Like I, I have to be strong. Mm. So in that meeting. No, seeing that you know he was he was kind of shaking up, not shaking. You know what I, I mean? Was shaking up. Yeah, he was. He was. He was shaking up. I went. I went in there. I went. We went in there to talk to the people. I thought we were just gonna like look at designs, cool. Like we might do it because that's always what it was with other friends that I've had in the past. They're like, oh, we want to do this, this, and this, and then we we talk crazy like, yeah, and we and then, and then like we never got that far. And then here I thought it was gonna be the same. Shit. We're gonna talk reckless like, yeah, we're gonna make hats, bro, and we're gonna it's gonna be hard. And I really thought we were going to win, and it was going to be like, oh, yeah, it's X amount of money. We're going to be like, I bet we'll get back to y'all. We'll get back to y'all. And we would just never go back. That's really what I thought. I, I, that, that was my mentality. I was like, we're going to walk in there, get some info, and be like, ah, right, man, thank you. Then I'm going like, to oh, start running up the numbers, man. Like, so, so, What's so the numbers looking like? Yeah. Going, yeah. And what do we need in order to sell? And, uh, oh, let's open up a, 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 a Shopify account or whatever, a Wix account. I don't know. It's like, we're going to get going, gang. Okay? And I was like, damn, bro, we're really like, and then they started talking about money, bro, yeah. like real money, bro. Money that has never been in my account in fucking years, probably since like graduated high school. Like serious money, they started talking about like, oh, but I'm going I'm to give you a little lower discount. And I'm like, oh, man, I'm going to cut it in half. Take like 200 bucks off. I'm like, damn, bro. <laughs> really gonna... Bro, I sold my half. I sold my half, I think, to you or whatever, whatever my po- my percentage I had to sell. And I, that's the last time I got an alert. I, I remember. I remember. I got in Chase Alert, cause um, when I opened up my Chase account, um, when I opened up my Chase account, I said, "Hey, you know, like you could either let it over, over go the over the balance, and like let's say, let's say I waste hundred bucks and I have like forty dollars in my name, it would be negative sixty, mm-hmm. you know." But I'd be like, "Nah, nah." I told them at, at the bank, I was like, "If I'm ever under, you know, my limit, like uh, I'm at zero, then don't let the card go through." So I have that that feature on my card, and then she also put the feature where. If I'm under 50 bucks, it's going to send me an alert. And I sent that shit again, and boom, like two minutes later, I got my alert. Uh, Felipe's a Chase account ending with blah, blah, blah. It's under 50 bucks. Damn. Yeah, <clears> and I was like, fuck, bro. Like, I have fucking yeah. 50 and, bucks in my name, but fuck it. And I was just like, man, fuck it, bro. Like, if, if we all film him, we'll all be broke, man. Fuck it. Yeah. No, I was like, really what you was. know what's funny, though? I, yeah, you can cut it off if you want to. Uh, if you want me to, if you want the editor to. Or you want me to, sorry. But... I remember you were kind of trying to stall a little bit. I'm trying yeah, to, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not making the payment that night. Yeah. And we were saying, like, nah, bro, like, let's just do it. Like, we got to no, do it, bro. Yeah, I, well. I could tell Felipe was like, <laughs> he was like, fuck it. Like, 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 do we really want to do this or can we find something cheaper? Yeah, or, like, yeah. we'll just do it next week type thing. Like, you know, we we no, understand, bro. Remember. But but now sitting back and actually, like, not, I guess, yeah, we're smiling at that. Like, even though at the time it was stressful, but it just makes us, like, it makes the story like it makes the, the the story being written down even more interesting. Like it just makes the I feel like the the achievement like way like it and we're feels, nowhere it feels, near where we want. No, be, no, but I mean we got into zoomies, bro. <coughs> and while we're on the topic of merch and all that, I wanna I know we bro we say this all the time that we can't thank y'all enough and all this, but I personally for me I want to thank you guys for purchasing the merch uh, and generally just watching. But for those that have you know, purchase our merch or whatever. You, bro, you guys don't understand how much you guys have helped me and my family. Like, this year alone, especially with all that's been happening with my, my, my dad back at home. Like, I've been able to, bro, send... I don't even... Like, I've sent money that I never thought I'd be able to send before to my family. And uh, I just genuinely... I want to thank you guys for purchasing anything that we've put out. Whether it was a hat or a shirt or a hoodie. Um, bro, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I know these guys mean it too, but... For me and my family, on my family's behalf, I am forever grateful for you guys. Bye. If you guys ever catch me out, you guys are, bro, please come up to me. Like, the least we can do is have a conversation with you guys or yeah. you guys, a picture, whatever it is, bro. That's just like, that's, it's literally nothing compared to what you guys give us, and that's your support. So, thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts for allowing three immigrant kids to, uh, to f- make their dreams come true. This is crazy, bro. You, you you know you you wanted to say something? Yeah, no, we love you guys so much. How Diego says, we can't thank you enough. We we really can't. Um, especially my family too. 
<clears throat> obviously Diego's going through a, a much difficult time. But funny story, <clears throat> I don't know, I don't know what happened. I'm not gonna go too deep into it. But basically, my parents and you might be like, "Damn, Felipe, you make all these videos." By the way, guys, I don't make shit off TikTok for those who are wondering, or shit off Instagram. I don't make shit off those platforms because I'm an immigrant. You are supposed to have a social security number in order to make money off that. So, uh, before but you do make it off brand deals. Yeah, I do make it off brand that. deals. I'm sorry, I do make it off brand deals. Thank God. Um, and and YouTube, <clears throat> but. For those who are always wondering, like, yo, Felipe, like, man, you make all these videos and they do good, bro. And, and you, and, you know, you have money. I, I, I don't always have money, bro. And I'm, I'm, I'm nowhere near where I want to be. And I'm also not ungrateful. But funny, funny enough, bro, I just found out, like, uh, like last week, I think I told you about it. I don't know what happened. I don't know. I'm not. I just want my family to be happy at the end of the day. I, I always say I want to get my family out the hood. But basically, my parents were behind two months in rent. And I was at the, I was at the crib. And I'm eating, and I'm back to go play soccer. I'm gonna go play soccer, and I'm like, I'm telling my, telling my girl and my sister, like, oh, I'll be back. Like, we'll watch a movie when I come back. I'm gonna go play soccer, and I don't know where the manager comes, and usually she be giving shit to my mom about me parking in the back, cause I just be parking like on the side, like, cause there's no designated spot for like visitors, and I just be parking there, and uh, and I walk out, you know, I walk out, and I see the manager talking to my mom, and my mom looks a little worried, but I'm like in a hurry. I don't think much of it. Then I call my girl. I'm like, yo, what, is my mom still out there? What's going on? She's like, I don't know. I think she's crying. And I'm like, what? And, I, and I'm like, passing to my mom. And turns out, I don't know what happened. I don't know. I'm not going to I'm not gonna put out my whole personal life out there. But they were behind two months in rent. And because of you guys' support, I was able to pay my rent, my parents' rent, like, fully. Like, like I remember I told my mom, she's like, she's like, no, we're two months behind. And, and if, if we don't get the payment within, like, three days, like, they're going to send an eviction letter. And I was like, how much is it? And then she told me the amount. And I was like, I was like, it's all good. Like, I got it. And she's like, what? No, like, you didn't hear me. Like, it's it's this much money. And I was like, no, I, I heard you. Like, I'm I'm gonna get the money. Don't worry about it. And and really, I went to the bank and I pulled it out. I I, I always save all my money, guys. I be on. I be you know all the things you see is free. Clubs free. Everything is usually free when we go out. Thank God. <laughs> I'm just being honest. So I don't really like spending my money like that, lo pendejo. I always save my money. I was just like, damn, bro. I was telling Brandon, I was like, yo, what would have happened if, literally, if it would have been a year ago, I wouldn't have known what to do, bro. Like, that, yeah. my family would probably got kicked out. I didn't have the money, bro. Yeah. Nowhere near, bro. I think the thing that pissed me off from that story was that the manager said, yeah, I, the she managers, said it in front of everyone. Bro, the manager was, uh, so I left and my mom and the manager were talking in front of everybody, like, the whole building. And I was like, that was what he got me heated. I was like, what the fuck? Like, if you're going to tell somebody, tell them in private, you know? And I remember the next day, my mom calls me still the next day in the morning. She's like, mijo, ¿qué vas a hacer? Like, no, no quiero que le estés pre uh, preguntando a personas por dinero, which basically means I don't want you to go ask your friends for money, you know. Like, she doesn't ask people, you know, to loan me money, and I wasn't pay the rent. And I was like, no, mom, I'm here at the bank. I'm going to get the money. And, bro, I remember I just started crying, bro, because I couldn't believe it. I couldn't yeah. believe that I, have, I had the money. And I was like, bro, what would have happened a year ago? Like, I wouldn't, dead as my parents probably would have kicked out. Yeah, I yeah. didn't have the money. Yeah, but, you know what, but you know what's crazy? That thank God it didn't happen no, last I year. It happened bro. this year. But it's one of those things that you can look back and you're so appreciative about it. Bro, cause you're, I, I'm telling you, bro, I was literally just crying, bro, like a kid. Like, like, I couldn't believe bro, it. Bro, because you appreciate the, because the, 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 it's an opportunity to be able to help your parents, yeah, bro. Of like, course, of course. anytime you get the opportunity, I know some people see it like, oh, damn, I got to help out my parents. Nah, but to bro. me, it's an opportunity to be able to help my parents, bro. Yeah. Especially getting them out of a like a like a hole like that yeah but too like much, that's that's like, deep bro i was uh i was tell i was this remember when the ie and friends podcast that we did the ie and friends, IE and, friends and yeah, i was just yeah, telling yeah, yeah. him i was talking about like you know how we've been doing this for so long bro like at uh, least felipe and i with the social media shit yeah yeah <clears throat> um like we've been doing it for so long and me and felipe have been boys for like three years now and we did content together for three years yeah before anything like before really like this is all recent for us all this shit we're doing but uh, we were talking about on the podcast that, like, out of all the times that we could have uh, been making all the money that we were, that we're not all, you know, it doesn't sound like a lot, but, like, making the money that we're making now, uh, we could have been making that money last year or two years ago, but, like, we didn't need to make that money a mm -hmm. year ago or two years ago. Like, your situation wasn't happening a year ago. For me, like, for example, like, a year ago, my dad didn't have cancer, didn't have yeah. this, I didn't have to help pay the bills. Like I didn't need, I I needed it. I, I maybe needed the money for myself, you know. Like, I needed it to pay my bills or whatnot. But I didn't. Like God was preparing me for something way bigger. Like He was like, Nah, but your time to make money is not now. It's God's and I feel timing. like it's a test too. It's like it's a test. Like God's gonna give you the money, 
He's like, all right, let me see what you're gonna do. Like, I want to see if this, you can. You're gonna be selfish, or you're gonna like, you know, yeah. you know. I feel like that's what it was for me. It was like a test. I was mm-hmm. like, I was like, nah. And I always like, I don't know, man. I made a promise. I was like, man, I wanna, I wanna like, cause he knows your intentions, bro. He knows your 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 heart, what yeah. your heart. If your heart has good intentions and whatnot, and I know, I know. I always said like, I just want to be able to help people, and most importantly, first of all, before anybody, my family. And I'm just glad that I, 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 I vote. I'm sorry, I cut you off. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. I'm just glad mm-hmm. that I was able to again since December t- from now, from December to now, which is when we started making YouTube videos. Yeah. Um, the income that I've made, I'm forever grateful. But I'm forever grateful even more that I was able to uh, give to it to that. my family, like help, and still be good myself. Still pay my bills. Still pay everything Amen. off. Bro, my biggest flex, and this is like I'm so blessed, and I tell you all the time, is that I have no debt, bro. Mm-hmm. I owe zero dollars to any credit card company to an Amex, y'all can blow me. Uh, Citibank, y'all can blow me. I don't owe nobody money, bro. I am debt free <laughs> and I'm forever, forever grateful. And I hope, you know, I'm, I'm, because I'm, I was stupid before, bro. I would run up my credit card bills, and then I would just be stupid with my money. And then I just came to a point I was like, no, nah, that I want to be debt free. I don't like owing people money. And yeah, everything that we've been doing has given me the opportunity to one pay all my credit card bills, and and help my family and yeah. still have some for myself. And bro, I'm just nah, I'm grateful. Pay my debt off. You don't got that. You don't even have a credit I, I card. This motherfucker. <laughs> what are you <laughs> for the plane ride? I almost plane. killed this game. I told y'all not to take that plane Fuck ride. It. But we didn't know any Who better. Who has plane ride? We gang? didn't know any better. I but can we, see the houses, but we want. Gang. Like the, you know how usually the plane, like all the planes oh. we've been on, they take off and we're already passing the clouds. Yeah. This motherfucker was cruising in the clouds, <laughs> and then you could, then we went into a big ass cloud. It just all became white. Yeah. Shit was oh, scary, tell them bro. that the, that they were the turbulence. And then the turbulence went like this. That I should almost drop, like bro. It, it dropped, Yo, bro. Felipe, I told them not yo, to take Felipe that. Yo, was like this, but he's like this on the plane, and then you feel that drop, and Felipe was like this. Well, I've <laughs> never, I've never seen Felipe do something like that. You were scared, but yeah, huh? it felt, it felt oh, crazy. So now, nah, but going back to that, bro, amen <laughs> that you were able to do all that. And it's it's amazing that we are all able to do some things like that. I think like yeah, like you guys know me. Like you guys know me in front of the cameras. You guys know me outside of the cameras. Like you guys know I talk really reckless. I talk reckless, but I don't know. It's a little hot in here. No, we talk. I I talk really reckless. But at the end of the day, I've always said it. Even in the beginning of this, when I told you guys like I see the vision of this, I always told you guys like one of the biggest thing was like I just always I just wanted to buy my grandma a house because she's never lived in a home. Like my grandma's always lived. We lived in a garage. We lived in a in, in literally in a room with a bathroom. We, I was sleeping on the floor, like all these crazy things. And my grandma always wanted to have a house. So that's something that I always wanted to do. And then obviously bring my mom back from New Mexico. Like that's all the, the two things that I always wanted to do. So being able to do this and now being able to save money now. And and it's been hard, bro. I, I Jack, I know I got the five minutes. Let me just say the last story real quick. No, with, with that being said, like I remember now that I, I was, you know, le- I left the barbershop because I wasn't really, I'm not really working as much, whatever. I remember, I, th- I don't know if I said this story, but before we got paid from the from the YouTube ads, right? Before that, I remember, um I, I forgot what month it was, but I was two days late on rent. Mm, and I still, I, I still needed a six hundred dollars to for me to like pay for that. And I remember I was like, you know what, we're not doing anything. I'm gonna get my ass to the barber shop. Hopefully, I can make that money. And I was on my way to the barber shop, bro. I'm telling you, two days late on rent. I'm on my way to the barber shop, and then that's when like the, the YouTube money finally hit, bro. And I fucking cried, bro. I was bawling now because I never expected that. Another thing too, bro. I'm the, I'm basically the only breadwinner in the house. Like my mm-hmm. grandma doesn't work. I don't really talk to my aunt. I don't really talk to my uncles. Like I'm not gonna go there and be like, yo, can you guys let me borrow some money? So it was. It's just like a crazy thing being able to do it. And yeah. It's such a blessing, like you said. We wouldn't. I don't know what would have happened last year or the year before, but everything happens for a reason. It's yeah. always God's timing, and yeah. I think you just hit it. He hit that shit right on the nail when you said that. Yeah, bro. The freaking uh, yeah. I know you don't have a credit card, bro. I feel like it's a blessing and a curse to have a credit. Don't card. have a credit card, bro. I mean, you should. You, you definitely should, should because in emergencies, gang. Yeah, you never know when you're gonna need it. But it, bro, I'm just. Right. Actually, I've, I've been I've been in a hole with them before, yeah, bro. bro. We just want to say, guys, thank you so much for all the support, for real. I, we're not even talking about watching this vlog. You guys are literally changing our lives, for real. We're being so serious. We're in a little time crunch, so we got to wrap this up. Uh, you know how, how you always say, always wrap before you tap it. We love you guys so much. And uh, thank you again for tuning into Intoxicados Podcast with uh, your boy Diego, your boy Brandon, and uh, finally but not least, your boy Filipito going to Wait, 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 wait. That's Before not it. Close that, it out, that was it. Close that was it. it, it you could close it out, man. Make sure you guys, whenever we announce the date on Zoomies, whenever it is, I don't know, we don't have a date yet. We are, we do want to do like a little tour and pop up at the Zoomies and like 100%. I don't even fly out of Florida. I don't go f- get the poor day. If they tell us like, yo, we're doing it in Chicago, we're doing it here, we're doing it there, we're going to pop in. Y'all going to come. I want to, I want pause. Y'all not going to, you know what I mean. You're going to come to Zoomies. 
And I want everybody dripped out in the merch, especially with the new shit we're cooking up. We're going to drop it soon. Yo, we I'm being y'all. so f- honest. If if our if our merch drops at the Zoomies at Northridge, you best believe I'm them, walking man. in with all the supporters. I'm gonna even get a group or a banda just oh, to be tocando, God, boom, yeah. boom, boom. Yeah. I'm, if you're if you're over 21, we're gonna have champagne bottles. Just walk inside the Zoom right, store. I'm gonna shut the whole the, the whole place down because it's a dream come true. With that being said, follow me on Instagram at Domando. I love you guys. We love you guys. Peace. Peace.